Ice waterfall is in and we're all set. Oh, and I don't think that's a fair break because Ice waterfall got off very fast and is indeed about a four or five lengths ahead. Then there comes Selfie, Film Star, Kijana, and Joshua is the back marker. Well, it, they're all going well, and it's Iced Waterfall being chased by Table Companion Selfie, who's now trying to catch up with the fast running Iced Waterfall, and still it is Joshua who is the back marker. Very fast pace is being set there by the favorite Iced Waterfall. And he leads this from Film Star, then about 10 lengths behind them, trying to catch up there is Kijana. Then comes Film Star. And now Eternal is relegated to the back. Joshua trying to improve. Still Iced Waterfall, it is who's leading. And Selfie seems to be all over the place. Quickly now being overtaken by Lone Shark, who's now getting in second place. And as they go towards the cemetery bend, Iced Waterfall, who's been leading from the beginning. And now it is Kijana who's the back marker. Iced Waterfall, Lone Shark. Then comes Eternal in third, battling it out with Selfie. Then Cool Cavalry trying to catch up. Kijana also moving up the gears. Then the Green Cup of Film Star is the back mark and as they come to the home straight this is going to be amazing if Mark Mburu can hold on from start to finish and it looks like Selfie has pulled up at the back there Iced Waterfall being asked to go Lone Shark Eternal on the inside there trying to battle Ca Cool Cavalry is the one chasing here but it is still Iced Waterfall who's lost a lot of ground coming through the inside rail here Cool Cavalry is the closest challenger will Iced Waterfall hold on Mark Moro says go, but then Kijana, who loves soft ground, goes on the inside there. Cool Cavalry is trying to hold on. Kijana and Cool Cavalry are the two who are battling. Kijana will go and clinch it. Kijana will Cool Cavalry. And then comes in third place, Ala Mode. Iced Waterfall fading. Film star is torn last. And something must have happened to Selfie because she was running poorly and she's pulled up. But no doubt about the winner. Kijana wins. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the winning jockey and trainer of our sixth race, the Oblong Tan Handicap, won by that very good run, late finish by Kijana, very well and expertly ridden by James Mohinde. Mohinde, you ran what you would call a complete race. From the back, 600 out, and you produce the host to come and go past the whole field and win. Expl just talk us through. Did you think that you were going to catch them in the home straight because you were at the last there? Yeah, it's, uh, it was, uh, the distance was good for my horse and also the ground was suiting him. Although the pace went through too fast, I had to cool up at around 1,200 meters to let my horse get a breath. Then start working hard from 600 meters. Coming to the last 200 meters, that's when I knew I had a chance and I had to keep working hard. Well, a chance you did and you take. Congratulations on a very good win. And I have Kijana's trainer, Oli Gray. 
himself has ridden many a winners like that. And you were the only one opposing two other trainers who had majority of there. Did you think you had a chance of upsetting them? I did actually, it's, it's a, it sounds strange because he hasn't won for two years, but he's never had the ground. He's, he's a soft ground horse. Even today it wasn't s that soft. I walked the track this morning, it was good good ground, maybe a little bit softer around the bend. So to be fair to the, uh, he's a lovely, lovely animal and he's a very genuine horse, but he's never had the ground and he can't go on the hard ground. The owner said if he doesn't do something today, he w he's gonna have to go. I think he's got a reprieve. So um, long may it rain. I mean, it needs to rain till after Christmas. We might win again. Well, I think he must have had the owner saying that if he doesn't win today, he might be going. So he must have heeded that advice. I hope so, because he's a lovely animal to have in the stable. He, he leads all the, the, the young horses, loves what he does. He's not a good horse, but he, he tries. And um, it's unfortunate that we get a lot more hard ground than we do soft. So um, we'll see. I mean, I'd love to keep him a bit longer because he's just nice to have in the stable. Congratulations on a good win. Thank you very much. And the full results of our sixth race, the Oblong Town Handicap. The winner, horse number seven, Kijana. Second, horse number three, Cool Cavalry. Third, horse number five, Ala Mode. Fourth, horse number two, Iced Waterfall. And fourth, horse number eight, Joshua.